Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. Okay, I do have a message for you. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node in Aquarius. So if your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node is in Aquarius, this message should resonate, okay? Please feel free to take what resonates and leave the rest. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Ancestors, all divine beings of the spirit realm, all gods and goddesses of the highest forms of the highest of light, please tap into Aquarius Collective's energy and provide clear intuitive messages for my Aquarius. Okay, so Aquarius, I do want to start off by saying thank you so much for all your likes, shares, your subscribes. Thank you for being, you know, a part of the family. I love you guys the long way, okay? I do appreciate you all, and I'm sending love to you here tenfold. Thank you for all the thanks, all the, you know, likes, like I said, share, subscribes. Thank you for being a part of the family. All my new subscribers, welcome. And I just want to, you know, take some extra time just to show some love to you guys. All right. So let's go ahead and tap into your energy, Aquarius, and see what you need to know. What messages do you have for Aquarius Spirit? Any messages for Aquarius? Thank you. So Aquarius. Okay, so with prayers and wishes in reverse, some of you guys are holding back or you, you may feel like your prayers and your wishes are not being or not coming uh coming true fast enough. For some of you, you could be praying and wishing nonstop, okay? So spirit is saying that you need to follow your dreams there's something that you need to to do okay there's something that you need to go towards something you're passionate about whether this be a connection a career just a talent or a gift spirit is asking you to trust yourself okay go into that direction there is something that will bring a lot of fulfillment a lot of answers to your prayers a lot of your wishes will come true I do see that you have a lot of change and progress coming towards you as well. A lot of transformation. Some of you guys may be going somewhere. Like I'm, I'm getting, you don't even know how far you're going to go with this, this dream that you have. Something that you're moving towards is so, is so much potential, okay? Yeah, this is affirmation for you, for somebody. Okay, a lot of you guys are spending time healing your heart. And I'm getting, this is a major change. You guys are going into a new direction, a new world. So much progress is going to be coming into your life. Once you start following your dreams, okay? Some of you may have a cat. Or a dog and a cat. Okay, but I do see that you are going into the unknown and a lot of your prayers and your wishes are going to be granted. So that looks really good, Aquarius. As always with you guys, your energy never, you know, fails to show up. Let's see what else for my free thinkers. What else for you guys? Some of you could be spending some time with family trying to build like you know build that generational wealth build that financial stability within your family some of you could be getting an inheritance or some sort of money definitely see good finances okay you guys are definitely moving forward in healing at this time you're focused on your pinnacles you're focused on stability your security You're focused on, you know, just being somebody who has something like a solid foundation. You're letting go of a lot of grief, a lot of loss in your life that you may have experienced. Yeah, some of you guys could have been involved with a Libra. There could have been a Queen of Cups that was very insecure, somebody that you didn't trust. This is King of Pentacles. Okay, you could also be moving forward from somebody that was materialistic. This could have been an Aries energy. Somebody that abused their power. This person could have been stubborn. 
but you're moving forward from this person you're letting go of any loss any grief that you may have had some of you are grief, letting go of grief from an abusive father as well for somebody so I'm also seeing with the queen of cups out here let's see yeah this could have been a toxic family situation you you know both of your parents could have been toxic and if this isn't you I'm saying that somebody in your energy this person went towards the queen of cups and gave them an offer okay what's this yeah this is somebody that was a, a cheater a manipulator this is somebody that you have finally dropped, okay? You've dropped this person. This person may be making a decision to come back around to you as well. Somebody wants to... Somebody is torn between two different type of relationships. Somebody's torn between something with you and another person. Aquarius. What else? Yeah, I'm seeing that somebody is losing money. Their their finances aren't doing so good. Their finances aren't looking good. They're losing opportunity. Somebody could have lost a job or a business they were growing. But I'm seeing that you are being recognized at this time, Aquarius. You guys are seen in the spotlight. Some of you could have Leo in your chart, but you guys are definitely winning. Your energy is very passionate, very leader-like attitude. You guys may have people that look up to you. Yeah, you guys are definitely winning at this time. You have a victory. But there is somebody in your energy. What's this Ace of, what's this, uh, what is this Ace of Pentacles? Okay, so some of you could have been married to this person or in a higher level commitment but I'm seeing that this person is losing money yeah somebody may even be going to jail because of some money or not having enough money what is this that's coming out you guys have been enlightened you are spending more time looking inside and in solitude possibly you're in hermit mode okay virgo energy i'm saying that you guys have healed yeah you went in hermit mode and you did some healing and you guys are also in the high priestess energy yeah you uncover some secrets and you guys are also in the high priestess energy so i'm saying that you are somebody that is very knowledgeable when it comes to spirituality you're somebody that may be into divination you're somebody that is very in touch with their uh, divine feminine and divine masculine attributes i'm seeing that you're letting go of a queen of swords or somebody is letting go of a queen of swords a gold digger energy could be this Aries energy letting go of this yeah somebody's giving up somebody's giving up somebody overindulges and they're only holding on for money yeah this is a gold digger Somebody is definitely in that gold digging energy. This could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You've awakened and now somebody is going through judgment, okay? Somebody is going through ju uh, judgment and they're going to need your forgiveness. Again, some of you guys could have been married to whoever this is or somebody might see that you're married. Yeah, you're, you're finally getting a connection with your twin flame you're you're able to move forward towards if this isn't your twin flame it's a higher level soulmate your judgment is to finally have the connection that was destined for you you guys judgment is going to be to get a good partnership somebody that's going to love you 
okay I keep seeing the ten of Pentacles now the ten of cups yeah ten ten so yeah you're gonna have a lot of stability a lot of security you guys are gonna be in a connection where you're celebrated so this is what happened now that you're you're moving forward now that you're winning you're overcoming your obstacles you guys are definitely taking the journey you guys are going with the flow yeah and this person whoever this is in your energy that's coming up this manipulator i'm getting a knight of cups a cancer scorpio or a pisces this person is stuck with somebody they don't want to be with they're unfulfilled okay somebody could be in a connection because of a child But I'm seeing that somebody's getting bad news. Yeah, somebody somebody's going to watch you move on and that's their bad news. They're going to watch you. They're going to watch you love someone else and they're going to watch you overcome your financial difficulties, okay? They're going to watch your life start improving. They're going to watch you rejoin Come back out of solitude after spending time by yourself. Whoever this is, they're watching you glow up bigger than you've ever been. Okay, they're watching the spiritual transformation as you go through this Aquarius. Somebody's watching you. This person made a really bad investment. And somebody's really feeling that. Somebody's feeling the investment they made. Okay, they could have went towards a Pisces, a dark priestess. Somebody they could have had children with. I'm seeing this person is unhappy with whoever they are with. Somebody's in a dysfunctional family, okay? This could be somebody that got a, is getting a divorce and having to pay child support or pay some sort of alimony. Yeah, I see that you've given up on this. You know the truth. Somebody's not your friend. This person overindulges. What else? Yeah, you see this person is deceptive. They're a trickster. Okay. You've already awakened to this truth, Aquarius, about someone. Yeah, and someone's judgment is to be stuck in a situation where they're having financial issues. They're stuck in fear, anxiety, all of that. And today change, okay? And today change, Scorpio energy. You may even be delivering the truth to this person in some way, but you're being protected from whoever this is in your energy, this deceitful energy. You're being protected. You could be speaking some sort of truth or you might be getting the truth about something. Maybe some like communication energy so yeah let's see what else for Aquarius 1333 on the timer you guys manifestations of these new beginnings that you've been waiting for whether you're birthing a baby some of you may be pregnant Aquarius or you are birthing like an idea or some sort of goal okay <coughs> you're gonna get this new beginning <coughs> Yeah, so some of you guys could be working multiple jobs or you could be working real hard at this time, putting in a lot of hours. <clears throat> so Spirit is asking you to bring some balance. Okay, bring some balance and have some fun. <coughs> Sorry, guys. It says you may be juggling multiple priorities at this time and Spirit is asking you to balance your budget. Balance just find some balance when it comes to your finances yeah and look balance came out again next to it so your family your finances are going to be balanced you're getting some sort of justice okay now that you guys are in your power with strength at the bottom of the deck you guys are definitely balancing things out things are being balanced i'm getting your angels your guides they're helping restore this balance as well as yourself 
okay with the good choices you've been making by stepping into your power being self-confident overcoming any of your self-doubt you're doing all of that right now you guys could be blending ideas with people collaborating working with people to try to create something and I'm getting you're gonna do that you're gonna create something really extraordinary okay I'm also saying that you guys may be I don't know why I'm getting I could be talking to an inventor you guys could invent something okay you definitely are going to be in a state of balance of inner peace your masculine and your feminine energies are very balanced yeah you guys have self-control you're also showing patience and just all of that right now okay you're very patient and spirit notices it okay i'm getting that you're going to have balance when it comes to love you could be going towards a gemini or maybe this could be maybe you're balancing a connection with a gemini or you could be embracing true love or intimate friendship at this time i'm seeing that you will be making some choices from the heart actually following your heart yeah heart chakra is wide open okay the color green you guys definitely are about to have a lot of good health or you may be recovering from an illness okay yeah and somebody's run out of ideas like somebody's ran out of ideas and creative ways to try to come towards you to ask for some support somebody might want to borrow some money somebody might you know be out of balance in their life and they need some help this person is hoping for a handout from you Aquarius the number six could be important to you. Somebody could be coming around this month asking for some money. But I'm also saying that you may even be giving some money. Okay, you may be giving some money to pay off some uh, some debt. You're gonna, Or you may be sharing your wealth with others less fortunate than you. Yeah, but you're in a state of balance where you know that the good that you do will come back to you. So I'm seeing an unexpected inflow of abundance. Like you're about to get some unexpected money come your way. All right. Or if you're borrowing money for like a big purchase, you're going to you're going to be able to borrow enough that you're going to pay off the debt. You're going to be able to pay off that debt. Okay, yeah. I'm also saying with the 3 of swords coming out that there is great sadness okay the sadness that will heal with time so some of you guys could be very sad as you let go of the past you still feel sad about it but you're growing okay you're overcoming your challenges you're healing any type of misunderstandings you may have had within yourself or with anybody else you're offering yourself you're being there for people who need you you're showing up for people and they're showing up for you okay this is where you are right now, Aquarius. What else? Yeah. And this person... This person might want to come forward and heal things with you. Um, they don't know if you're going to give them another chance. They're very sad. You know, they're seeing you let them go. But this person... This person is somebody that hurt you and may have backstabbed you or was just a trickster. Like, somebody just couldn't be honest okay this could have been somebody you had a strong connection with but I'm also seeing that they want another chance with you but maybe you're not sure if you're gonna accept this person back maybe you're not sure what you want to do about it but spirit is asking you to follow your own heart rather than trying to make others happy okay pretending there is no problem spirit doesn't want you to pretend there isn't a problem like acknowledge it follow your heart but trust your intuition okay some of you could be over analyzing a situation some of you could be over analyzing a situation but i'm saying that 
you're making a decision to go towards your Ten of Pentacles. Okay, some of you guys are going to have stability. You're going towards your Emperor. And if you already are an Emperor in this position, then you're going to have your you're going to have your Ten of Pentacles. You're making the right decision. You're making the right decision, okay, to release the past. You're worried about your financial security. Like I say, you guys may get an inheritance or some type of retirement money. But you're going to have a lot of peace and contentment in your life. You guys may be honoring your family traditions, all right? You may have pride in your family tree. Oh, I'm hearing you're going to have pride in your family tree, okay? You're going to be the first in your family. Yeah, you guys are going to be able to pass on the knowledge of how to do something that has never been done before. There is a King of Cups, a water element, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Somebody is very upset. They're in this connection with somebody else. These two, this couple, they're upset. They're unfulfilled. They thought that they were going to be able to come along and be with you in this journey. But Spirit's like, no. You weren't here while Aquarius was doing this. Somebody is very unfulfilled. This person is unfulfilled where they are, okay? And this person is starting to awaken. They're starting to awaken. Yeah. They didn't, they, they, this, whoever they went towards, they, things did not turn out the way they anticipated it to, Okay. But everything does happen for a reason. So Spirit is saying, look for those hidden blessings, okay? You guys were meant to go through this so you could step in your power. You're stronger than you even knew you could be. This person just reminded you of that, Aquarius. But you guys are going towards stability. You're going to have somebody that's going to protect you. This could be an Aries. That you're or a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, but you're headed towards somebody that is going to be able to lead you and and help you, or somebody you you guys are going to build an actual like empire. I'm saying that you're going to birth something or you're going to have a baby. There's going to be a lot of generational wealth. There could be two kids involved or three. Okay. So, that was what I got for you, Aquarius, so with tarot. Let's get some more messages for you. We have 2503 on the timer, 2503. Let's see what else. What else for Aquarius? Ooh, there is an opportunity coming your way. Something that's going to be something that really, really is going to be good for you. Spirit is asking you to take that opportunity. You're going to have a lot of opportunities coming your way. A lot of doors opening up. Okay, maybe you and maybe you're in a mindset that there's nothing better out there for you, but guess what? It is. And the situation that you're worried about is going to improve. Something is going to improve. There's a situation that's going to improve. Okay, spirit is asking you to trust. Trust at this time. Have trust. Have trust. It could have been a cancer in your energy that didn't want to take accountability. Okay, I'm seeing 14-14 here. You guys may be about to go on an adventure. Could be about to go on an adventure, Aquarius. Where are you going at? <laughs> could be going on an adventure as a part of your journey. Uh, okay, so we have 23-23. Endless cycles, charisma, communication, society, movement, journey, repetitive circumstances, and patterns. There's some truth 
you're resistant to accept over and over again. Until you're tired and restrained beyond depression, it takes a decision to live life for yourself. Life is all about passion. Then you make a change and the world around you follows. So Spirit is telling you that there's a cycle that needs to be chopped right on out, okay? There is an unexpected shift coming in your life, 0505. There's divine intervention, a sudden challenge, love, pleasant surprises, a gut feeling. This number serves as a gentle nudge to pursue whatever interests you most. It's possible that something could rock your boat, but you'll end up exactly where you belong, which could be in somebody's arms, at your dream job, or abroad. Okay, so definitely go with this shift. Wherever you're being directed, just go with the flow. Close something out and go right into that new beginning because it's going to be everything you manifested, Aquarius. Okay, and then we also have take action with 1011 here. Hope, new beginning, fresh start, lifestyle, purpose, spiritual awakening. This is a call to take action, to move forward. The sooner you get going, the sooner you will accomplish what you set out to do. Those with patience will eventually reap the rewards of their perseverance. Okay, so just know that what you're doing, how you're moving... How you're moving is being watched, Aquarius. How 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 patient you actually are being, okay? You are about to get back everything you're putting out, so make sure you're reaping what you put out. Make sure that you're putting out what you want to reap. That's what I meant. Make sure you're closing those cycles out. Taking heed, following those warnings. You know, making we're all allowed to have free will. So, trust your intuition. That's a part of you. As you embark on your journey, okay? Because I'm not going to tell anybody what to do. But I just love you and I want you to be good, Aquarius. Okay, let your friends help you came out. So, maybe you need to ask for and accept support from other people at this time. Maybe there's something you want to talk to your friends about. Somebody's friends could be getting married or... Okay, I'm saying that you are definitely about to connect with a soulmate. There is a soulmate that maybe you need to ask your friends for help with or somebody's advice. I've always been the type of person that just deal with things. I never really include my friends a lot, but I do include them. But I'm, I don't know, I guess I'm more of a just kind of private person. But... Maybe you're being asked to ask your friends for help. I mean, I know there are times when I need my friends and I have to ask for help, though, and I'm grateful they're there. Maybe you guys need to ask your friends for some help, some support. But I'm saying there is a soulmate right here that is saying, yes, this person is your soulmate. You have a soulmate coming into your life, Aquarius. Okay? Somebody that's going to build with you and take care of you, marry you. Spirit is saying that you just have to open your heart to love. Okay? We got Jesus out here. Spirit is saying you need to open your heart to love. There is a soulmate that wants to love you. Somebody wants to love on you. Okay. Let me see what else I can get. So make sure you're open to that love that make sure you're open. Somebody could be 29 years old. Okay. What else? What else do I need to know? Yeah, you guys are definitely in a state of inner peace. You guys are definitely purifying yourself. You're cleaning, clearing out that toxic energy, removing things that don't belong, whether you're detoxing your body, but you could be detoxing your spirit from people that don't belong. Yeah, I'm saying that you are spending time healing. Yeah, when I say healing family issues. I mean, you could be healing family issues, healing bloodline curses, healing generational curses, healing 
healing things that went on with your family through your love life. Okay, some of you may have had to forgive your parents. And I'm saying that by you doing this, this is allowing you to be more open when it comes to love. Yeah, we have the raven out here. So with raven out here, I'm seeing that spirit is telling you to prepare for a change, Aquarius. A pair for, prepare for a change. There's a change that's coming, okay? And it looks like, you know, I can't see. It doesn't look like it's going to be a bad change for you. It looks like it's going to allow you to purify yourself, to heal, as well as lead you and direct you towards love with a soulmate. Some of you guys may lose your job. I don't want to speak that on you, but somebody may lose their job. But I'm saying that, or you may just change jobs, like you may go into a different field. So Spirit wants you to know that your career path is leading you in a higher direction with positive changes to support your dreams, priorities, passions, and your life purpose. Trust that these changes will help you release the old and welcome the new. You are being supported each step of the way, Aquarius. So just know that Spirit is asking you to stay consistent, stay persistent as you dream big and go towards your dreams and your passion. Stay persistent. Okay, stay persistent with your healing. And for some of you, your life purpose is working with children. Okay, it involves helping or teaching or healing children. Whoever that was for. Okay, let's see what else. So Aquarius, let's go ahead and see what is your challenges for the upcoming week. What challenges you face? What's in the shadows for you at this time? Okay, let's see what's hidden. Some of you could be feeling lost. You could be... You could be... Like, you could have a lot on your mind. You could be self-reflecting a lot and just stuck in your head. Maybe you're about to get clarity about your purpose. Some of you could be releasing a lot of self-doubt that you built up. Like you could have had a lot of self-doubt and you in, insecurities and you could be releasing that. You could be releasing self-doubt. Okay, maybe some of you need to also release some shame and guilt. Spirit wants you to feel, if you do feel this, it's okay to feel this. But if you're going to feel shame and guilt, feel it without judgment or any self-criticism. Okay, you guys are being very hard on yourself. Spirit wants you to know that your mistakes do not define your worth, okay? So these are mistakes. We all feel lost. We all carry self-doubt. We all are arrogant to the fact that, you know, we have flaws. But Spirit wants you to know your limitations while knowing how to learn and improve them. So just because you have done something or whatever has happened to make you feel this way just let it go okay you're not held under a perfect microscope you are human you're here for the experience and you guys are healing so you by you doing this you are letting go of all of that shame that guilt releasing all those insecurities and learning your worth knowing that you are amazing you are worthy of love you are everything that you deserve. Like, you deserve this abundant because you are worthy of this abundance. Okay, I don't know who needed to hear that, but just so you know. You know? Just so you know, you know. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Can I get a mindful message for Aquarius? I hope this message makes some sense, guys. Ooh. So we have water your dreams. So everything you desire is on its way to you, Aquarius. But like a sea, your dreams must be watered. Your belief and your determination is what's going to make it grow. So Spirit wants you to know to be patient throughout your journey. Okay, everything is unfolding in its perfect timing. And then we also have personal journey at the bottom of the deck. So with 
personal journey at the bottom of the deck. It says, I follow what feels right within me without needing validation from others. We are, we are each our own journey. Wait, we are each on our own journey and mine does not need to look like anyone else's. My enjoyment and satisfaction is validation enough. So some of you guys, you're following your dreams, okay? And you're going in a different direction than the normal, okay? You guys are deep divers. You are... You guys are deep divers. You guys are definitely trend set. You break trends. Like, you set the trends, okay? So you guys are meant to be different. You're going on your own different journey, uh, journey at this time. And you're realizing that you don't need anybody's validation to go after what you want, okay? What you want is yours already. And you don't need anybody's validation to be happy. When it comes to love, when it comes to career, when it comes to anything, just follow your heart. Follow your heart and your heart will never lead you in the right direction, in the wrong direction. Your heart will never lead you in the wrong direction, Aquarius, okay? All right, so that has been your message, Aquarius. I hope the message resonated. Um, if you got anything from it, please feel free to give me a like, share, or subscribe so I can come on here and do more messages for you guys like this, okay? So I hope you take care and have a good day, Aquarius, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!